You have the floor. Now, Chair, Your Excellencies, climate change is the greatest threat to the realization of the Sustainable Development Goals. It has enormous impact on the fundamentals required for our survival on Earth, and that is why we have converged in Glasgow. Even though we in Africa are the least of the contributors to this phenomenon, responsible for less than 4% of the global volume of carbon emissions. We suffer the most because our agrarian and resource-driven economies are peculiarly susceptible to the effects of climate change, and our capacity to withhold its shocks is weak. Agriculture, water, energy, and the extraction of mineral resources are essential drivers of developments in our countries. But at the same time, are characteristically sensitive to changing climate. The African Development Bank has stated that the continent will need some three trillion United States dollars in mitigation and adaptation by 2030 to enable us implement our nationally determined contributions. The obvious question arises is how do we in Africa finance these commitments, especially as our socioeconomic development continues unfortunately to be low. The Almighty has blessed our lands with abundant natural resources and it would be wholly unfair for the world to demand that Africa abandons the exploitation of these same resources needed to finance our development and help us to cope better with the threat of climate change at a time when many countries on the continent have only just discovered them. The development and industrialization of the wealthy nations of today were also hinged on the exploitation of the natural resources. This development came at the expense of pollution and the emission of greenhouse gases. Even today, the Western world is responsible for 76% of carbon emissions. Ghana acknowledges the importance and effects of climate change and the urgent need to combat it. And we acknowledge equally the importance of protecting our development. We believe that a balance must be struck and maintained between our social, economic, and environmental imperatives. We're naturally very disappointed by the failure of the wealthy nations to honor their commitments of making available $100 billion annually to the poorer countries to assist us in the fight against climate change, and by the unavailability of the technology transfer that will help us find sustainable ways of charting a path out of this existential crisis. Those same nations are, however, insisting that we abandon the opportunity for rapid development of our economies. That will be tantamount to enshrining in the global community inequality of the highest order, a totally unacceptable conclusion. We must find a solution that is equitable and fair a solution that levels the playing field, a solution that recognizes the historical imbalances between the high emitters and low emitters. Ghana therefore supports the call for, for debt for climate swaps, which will address a multitude of issues in one fell swoop. Let us use this summit as a turning point to create a more prosperous, greener, and fairer world, which maintains the balance between the social, economic, and environmental requirements of all nations of the earth, rich and poor. Success in this endeavor is the greatest inheritance we can leave for current and future generations. I thank you for your attention.
Thank you very much, Your Excellency.